Hey guys, it's Ronnie here from Caney Branch Farm SC. Just going to do another little um, farm update. The last one I uploaded, I uploaded about three months ago. And it was kind of old and I didn't upload it until last week. I actually honestly forgot that I had uploaded it. Never got back around to releasing it. So uh, let's show you what's going on. And you can look at that video and this video and tell what all is different from between those two dates. Let's get to it. You can see I finished the... Um, the barn wood planters and I got them planted with some stuff and they're spilling out of here um, these originally had this this stuff which is called I'll tell you in a minute but I had be white begonias around this that was going to separate this is a sweet potato vine and uh, that's the impatient back there I just stuck in there here you can see let's see this is uh this purple stuff right here is called Altermantheria. I probably butchered that. And then the stuff in the middle is called Coleus. So there you go. Um, these are our Vinca baskets up here. They've done pretty good all summer. They need to be watered right now. I water them pretty much every day. Bed of monkey grass. This is some, uh, I think this is called Gara. I just planted this about, I don't know, a week or two ago. Maybe a little longer. That's Laura Pedalum back there. Um, I got this. This is Creeping Jenny. I got it from a friend. I was really worried that it wasn't going to make it. This stuff spreads like wildflower once it catches on. And the idea is to spread this all the way up the bed. Uh, there's my little Henry's. They were doing pretty good, but they look a little rough right now. I never can. I don't know the name of this bush right here. If you do know it, please leave it in the comments below. I didn't save the tag on it. And I'm trying to figure out what it is, but they're, they're growing pretty good and looking looking good you can see the blooms all over them hummingbirds love them that's a little sprig of rosemary i took some of that rosemary with us when we went to uh to to edisto on our vacation and used it on some potatoes planning on moving these bushes right here down there with the lower pedalum this fall and putting something darker green here because those two kind of blend in together. The azaleas. They're not really doing good here because they're in the full sun. And I planted these last fall. And I thought at that time, the sun kind of, my, my back of my house is facing south and the front is facing north. So this is the north here. And in the summertime, this gets a lot of sun. But in the wintertime, it don't get much sun. Um, there's, there's the rosemary. That's the rosemary that I cut it off of. This is the basil that I planted from seed about a month ago. It finally come up and took off. Strawberries, they starting to send out little runners. See the runners? Little runner. That's shooting out runners everywhere. Um, these are about done. They, they're not really going to produce anymore. But you see that one right there still has a lot of berries that it's making. The berries were really small. But um, they were really they were really small, and they would ripen up. So I'm hoping next year I can. I never did fertilize them, so that's probably one of the issues with it. Here's two marigolds. I got these uh, seeds from uh, from Dan at home in the sticks. He sent them to me. I'm not sure why the sedum keeps coming up everywhere. This uh this mix here I got. That sedum's popping up everywhere in it. Here's some lavender I planted. It's looking really good. And these these right here are some uh, cone flowers that I planted from seed back here. And they're not really shooting up like I'd want them to. So I'll eventually move them. That's what I've been doing with it. I still haven't gotten around to planting. Uh, Rob from Sapper Gardener sent me some, some Jerusalem artichokes last i was thinking it was like in the winter time 
and I still got them in the bag. I still put a little moisture in them. And I've been working on this planter here. I was trying to find something to fill up the space in the bottom. And I finally come up with an idea, which I thought was a pretty good idea, of using water bottles. So I saved all the water bottles I could at my house instead of throwing them in the trash or anything. And then when I went to Edisto, I really racked up because we, we had to use so much water there because the water was... was um, you wasn't able to drink it there out of the, out of the tap. So uh, let me show you what it looks like. I'm talking about this is the big planter box I built. It's like two and a half foot deep, and about it's 48 inches wide, so four foot. So I filled it up about right here, which is about right here, not quite halfway with water bottles. Let me pull this fabric back. And I lined them up down there. Then I put me some landscape fabric on top. And put what dirt I had in here. I just had these, uh, these are some potted monkey grass that I saved from that stuff that I planted. These are not staying in here. This is going to be from my Jerusalem artichokes. I might plant them collards in here with them since it's so late in the season. But I got to get some more dirt and fill this the rest of the way up so I can get those, those, uh, Jerusalem artichokes planted. I've had some little projects going on here and there and I hadn't videoed them, hadn't showed them. Uh, hopefully I'll get better at that. I just, I get, uh, I get to thinking about my projects and want to get them done and then I get to thinking about how I'm going to do them and all that and it sometimes it keeps me up at night. I don't know if y'all are like that or not but I build it in my head visualize it i'm a visual learner and uh I, I have in my mind i'm gonna video it but i get so amped up about it that i get started and i get halfway done with the project before i remember i do got a deer stand that i'm rehabbing i might can get some video of that I'm just adding a few boards to it and really just replacing the the floor and the uh seating area on it not much to it. I've already, I tore it off back in the spring. But that's about it. We'll see y'all on the next episode, guys. Appreciate y'all stopping by. See y'all later.